What is up guys, Saragoth here, and today I'm just bringing you guys a quick tutorial on how to get the perfect Call of Duty gameplay render settings. Uh, let's just get right into it, I don't want to waste your guys' time telling you about some bullshit. Uh, as I get my file out here, this is going to be a beginner and advanced tutorial, um, just because, you know, for anybody that's just starting up or anybody that's been doing it for a while but they want to know like what my color corrections are and what all that good stuff is, so let's just get right into it. So first you need to click the open tab right over there. And then you're gonna go to you know just you select your video file for this instance. I'll do my free for all 30 and 5 or whatever. Uh, that was actually I'm pretty sure this was a Moab gameplay. So we have it right there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, you're gonna add in your commentary if it's a commentary. Let's just do this one. And you're not gonna want it like this. Uh, it's gonna originally put it over the gameplay. You're gonna want to move it down over here like that. So then you have it like that and it looks all good. Uh, for this instance, the commentary is a lot longer since the commentary wasn't specifically for the gameplay, but just roll with it. Alright, so first thing I always do is I turn down the gameplay volume to around, ooh, I turn it down to about 26.5, I believe. Like, just right around that area. I feel like that's at the point where the gameplay isn't obnoxious, but it uh, you can still hear it and it doesn't really outdrum the voice. And depending on how loud I talk, I usually put this up to about 1.3. Alright, so first thing and one of the most important things is you're going to right click right here. Uh, on the video and go into properties and do disable resample. Uh, what that does is it just makes it so that it doesn't like blend frames together uh, when it's rendering and things like that. So you're going to want to click OK on that. And then you go into your video properties. Uh, my properties, I have it set so that it, uh, it starts all new projects with these settings, so it automatically turns it on to the settings. But uh, let me just go through like what the default settings are and then what you should switch them to. All right. So over here, uh, depending if you want to render in a uh, uh, 1080 or 720. Uh, it depends what you want to pick, but I like rendering in 720 for YouTube just because YouTube doesn't, it maxes out at 30 frames per second, so there's really no need to do anything above 30 frames per second. I mean, of course, you could crank it up to 1080p, but I just don't think it's necessary. Um, it just, what you're really doing is just getting larger file sizes, and I think the quality is the same except for the fact that it's a 1080 option, which really, I don't think anyone really cares about that. So I just keep it at HD TV 720p. And then make sure that all this is just as you see it here. I should already have all these settings as default. Then I uh, I believe it automatically sets the pixel format to 8-bit. You're going to want to do that to 32-bit floating point full range. What this is going to do is just going to add a more crisp, clear image, and it's really just going to be nice. Uh, full resolution re rendering quality best, obviously. Um, then de-interlace method, you're going to want to do none. You don't want the fields to be blended together. You want each field to be itself so that it doesn't like do any lag or ghosting, as some might call it. And one of the, the most important things is this check mark right here. You're going to want to uncheck this. Uh, that'll automatically be checked, but like I said, since I already have, a, I have it applied, it won't be checked. But, um... You're going to definitely want to uncheck that, guys, because let's say you did all this. If you check that, then it will just put it as the default video, and it would still be shitty with black bars and everything. So make sure that that's unchecked. Once you do all that, you just click Apply, and boom, right there. So now I go in my audio, and I crank out all my audio at the maximum. I believe the default is like 44,000. I cranked it up to 192, and I cranked the bit depth up to 24, and resample and stretch quality the best, just because those are the max settings, and they just sound the best. All the other stuff doesn't really matter. I mean, you can add a title and stuff if you want, but you know I don't need to do any of that stuff, so you just click Apply and OK. The next thing you want to do is go in the brightness and contrast, and you're going to want to click the default and drag it onto the video, like that. And then this box should pop up right here. And this box, uh, for for uh, I think for montages and gameplays, it's a little bit different. I like setting it to gameplays for about 3.0 or 4.0. But if you're doing a montage, I really would suggest 7. Uh, point zero seven zero. Excuse me, just because I think that actually gives it a really like cool look to it for a montage. But for gameplays, you're gonna want to stick to a three point zero or a four point zero. I believe I do a three point or a four point zero, but I'll, I'll just put it to three point zero so you can see it here. It makes the screen a little bit more darker, a little bit more vibrant. And I don't know if this does this for everyone, but it, on this, it looks like really bad quality. But trust me, guys, once you render it out, it looks beautiful. Let me see if I can show you guys an example. Uh, yeah. So here's. Here's a video once it's all, all rendered out with these settings. Let me just show you. See, you can see the really it's re it's really vibrant and stuff like that. Here, let me turn off my volume. You can see how it's really vibrant and stuff, and it looks really good. So, like I said, just make sure you don't um 
you don't go off the fact that it's like it looks bad as the preview just so that you guys don't get confused with that all right so now you are ready to render your video oh no you one more thing actually sorry you're going to go to the event pan crop and you're going to want to switch this from 1280 over here to 77 uh this what this is all it's doing really is eliminating the bra the black bars from the top of the screen of the video and uh you don't really have to do this most people don't notice but i think it you know provides for a better viewing and some people do notice it so you do render as and uh for these render as settings as well as the properties you only need to do this one time because i uh, actually this one was a mess up i can just delete that one but whatever all right so you could you only have to do it one time because you could see you could have a custom template so what you do is you're going to just want to click on any of them like this one or that one or that one but for purposes i'll just going to click on this one like i said you just click on any of them and click customize template so it'll bring you here uh it'll the default for it is cbr make sure you switch out the quality vbr of course include audio and all this will just be like that. All that's fine. And you're going to go into your video. You're going to switch the mode to CBR. I believe it's already on that. Uh, make sure this matches up to what you have on your video. Uh, all this is just default over here. And then make. And what I like to do is I, I believe the default is 90, which is probably fine. Nobody will notice it. But just for it will only be a slightly larger size of a file. So just crank it up to 100 if you want completely smooth. And this is a huge thing here, guys. Uh, the default for this, I believe, is eight it'll set it to uh, I like cranking it up to 13 because for the HD PVR 13 is the max and why not just max out everything so you know once you have all that done uh, you don't need any of this unless you want to you know assign a title and stuff like that or if you want to do something different over here but for most for most purposes you just want to keep it as used project settings so after that guys you're gonna want to render there you know do whatever you want uh, blah 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 you want to click render and see now you can actually see the quality of the video it looks really nice you see how it's going to be rendered when it comes out and you want to make sure that there's no black bars in this preview or anything and that it looks beautiful in 1280 by 720 just like this all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna cancel that but there you go guys so that's about it for this video i hope you enjoyed the tutorial on the perfect render settings for gameplay commentaries on youtube uh, i will be updating this as new versions of sony vegas comes out and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I worked pretty hard on this video, you know, putting on, making sure that these were the best, doing all this, doing all that. So I'd really, really appreciate, excuse me, a like rating and a comment on what you liked about the video. And maybe even subscribe if you like my content. So besides for that, guys, have a nice day. Love you all. Bye.